put America at risk. A full generation has passed since, since then. Here's ABC News senior correspondent John Cochran on what has changed and what has not. Two new reports on high school seniors find that 40% still do not understand the math they were taught in the eighth grade. Nearly a quarter cannot identify Adolf Hitler. More than half cannot place the Civil War in the right century. A third do not know the Bill of Rights guarantees free speech. These reports come 25 years after a landmark study that stunned the nation and warned of a rising tide of mediocrity. The commission discovered something that borders on a disaster. Despite billions of dollars spent since then, the newest report finds high school graduation rates have actually dropped over the last 25 years. The U.S. once ranked first in graduation rates and near the top in math scores. If you rate us against the rest of the world, 30 nations, uh, we're 25th from the top. We can do more intensive work. We can do more homework. We got too much television and too much distraction in kids' lives. These two teenagers from India would agree. They are in Washington to meet with local students. They are also stars of a real-life movie comparing their education to American schools. They told American students they go to school six days a week, take five years of physics, and believe American schools are too easy. The education system is Definitely not, you know, up to our standards. Would you want to go to school and work as hard as young people from India did? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel that we aren't motivated? We're losing our focus. Many school superintendents agree. Motivation is a huge problem. But they also feel the new reports are too gloomy. You know, it's like telling somebody every day, day in and day out, you're awful, you're a failure, you're terrible. Now go out and do better. You know, you talk about motivation, that's not a good motivator. The report calls for strong leadership from the next president. On the campaign trail, all the candidates do talk about education, but their immediate focus is on Iraq, health care, gas prices, and the economy. The problem for education is that people believe they can worry about that tomorrow. That's also what they thought 25 years ago. John Cochran, ABC News, Washington.